Hello guys, thank you for providing feedback on the previous tutorial. This time we will fix it and try to analyze it again. First step, go to impeller part. Many of you comment that the direction of the impeller blade was wrong, so we use a configuration to change the direction of the impeller. Create configuration. My configuration name is other blade direction. Okay. Suppress this feature. Click this face. Click sketch. Active circle. Click this point to this point. Make the circle diameter is 60 mm. Active center line. Click this point to this point. Click this point to this point. Active smart dimension. Click this line and this line. Make 45 degree. Active three point R. Click this point to this point and this point. Active smart dimension. Make this R radius is forty five millimeter. Click offset. Make offset parameter is four millimeter and click this R. Okay. Click this edge. Click convert entities. Active extend entities, click this line. Active trim. Cut this line, this line, and this line. Okay. Active extrude boss. Bruh. Active extrude boss. My extrude parameter is 20 mm. Okay. Active circular pattern. Click this edge for direction. Make black copy is X. Okay. See, the configuration impeller is ready. Show this configuration to see the fault impeller. An impeller high is 30mm. Go to other configuration. Click this exit boss. Click edit feature. My exit parameter is 30 mm. Okay. Go to SMB again. Click this impeller, click this and click other blade direction. Okay. See, direction of blade is changed. And now let's analyze this configuration palm. Go to add ins active solid workflow simulation. Right click the simulation, click clone.
click tor click edit definition delete this selection click impeller click this unselect this face and this face choose tor z Let mess it again. Run this simulation. Click run. It will take a long time, just skip it. Two thousand years later. <laughs> After done, let's see the result. Show cut plot result. By changing in the direction of the impeller blade, the resulting velocity decreases. Hide this plot result. Let's see surface plot result. I think the pressure reserve is still the same from the previous simulation. Let's show flow trajectories. See the flow velocity decrease. Let's see the gold plot. See the fluid pressure drop and all the gold we are looking for decrease but except for the tor, whose value increase. I think it's the end of tutorial. I hope you like it and I always give it back to this channel such as comment on every video tutorial. Thanks for watching. See ya.